Welcome back to another episode of We Rogue Like It. Just almost said Game Club again. Yep. Too many, too many episodes this week. Uh, we're talking the third week of uh, Crypt and the Necrodancer. Uh, we had a quick meeting here beforehand, and we're still uh, really enjoying playing this, so we're going to extend it to a fourth week. Yep. Um, talked a little bit about this really early on in the show. We're sort of like, you know, we, we try and estimate how long we were going to play this game, not, you know, 65 weeks, but, uh, you know, if we really like it, and extend it a little bit. If we sort of run out of content after two weeks, then uh, overnight, that was a two-week game. Yeah, Sunless um, Sea was a good example of that. Yeah, yeah, where it's like, please, please no more. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm broken. Um, but yeah, uh, we're, we're going to stretch uh, Necrodancer to four weeks, because I feel like there's still more content in there for, uh, for us to dig into, but... Uh, uh, let's uh, start talking about this week. I finished Zone Two. Whoop, whoop. Finally, <sighs> <sighs> yeah. Um, I think I, I when I did it, I, I genuinely really didn't have a super overpowered run. Yeah, I just got really lucky placement with both the red dragons mm-hmm. and then. The differently colored skeletons on two three. Yes. Um, when I got that, I did pretty all right. Yeah, it's the benefit slash downfall of procedurally de- generated stuff. It's right. like when you get a bad run, you can get a real bad run. I need to talk about my uh, dig plus move run this week. Um, yeah, I love the what are miners? The miners cap? hat, yes. Yeah, I love that. Uh, yeah, that does the dig plus move. And I had a really solid run going on until I was using the dig plus move stuff. And I accidentally opened up three rooms at once that I hadn't gone into yet. Oh, no. So I had three rooms of enemies all come out at me at the exact same time. Oh, I no. promptly got smashed into the ground like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. So that didn't Man. go so well. <sighs> Uh, the one item I picked up this week that I really liked, um, and this was on the Switch version. I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, picked up the Arc Dagger. Uh, the Arc Dagger. Is that the one that does five damage? No, that's the uh, Crystal Crystalline Dagger, something like that. Uh, the Arc Dagger uh, is a, a short dagger that looks like a lightning bolt, and it sort of has a yellow highlight around it. Okay. It does... Not, I think it does either four or five damage, but it also does chain lightning. So stab one dude and chains like two or three other people. That also does five damage. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't have this thing. I've, I've never seen this in my life. I've only seen it once, uh, and I I played Necro Dancer a lot. Ugh, get out of here, cat. Um, I played Necro Dancer a lot this week to try and get through uh, Zone Two. Mm-hmm. I only saw it once, but. Man, that run was really good. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it will be. What boss did you get uh, on your zo- your zone two run? I got Coral Riff, which is like the perfect boss to. Yeah, he's nice and chilled. Yeah. He's, uh, he's yeah. I know how to beat this one. It's not that Conga guy with the dropped beat. Yep, Donkey Conga or whatever his name is. Um, yeah, Gorilla Conga. Um, yeah, yeah. I had him on my zone three run, um, and I Oof. beat him with one health left. So. I love the fact that his music is off rhythm, like his yes. beats are off rhythm. It's really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, I I beat Zone Three this week and unlocked wow. Zone Four, mostly thanks to a friend. So when you're in the main room, it's got all the the outside doors. It's like the lobby, and mm-hmm. it's like oh. When you first start, it's like find me in Zone One to open this door. Find me in Zone Two. Oh, find right. me in Zone Three. And you need to go collect the, the glass key, make it to the next floor without taking any damage, find them mm-hmm. on the next floor, and then open the cage. The glass key is usually on, like, 2-2, two, two, right? Yeah, and it's two, on... 2-3, the glass cage is on? Yeah, it's on, like, zone 2-2, uh, zone two, two, and then the cage is on mm-hmm. zone 3-3, three, three, or 1-3. Uh, then the same for zone 2 and the same for zone 3. Like, you've got one unlockable thing for each floor, I oh, believe. Okay. Right. I think the one on zone 3 is the janitor, but I'm not sure. Um, okay. But I had a locked door in the room and I couldn't figure out what it was. So I went up to the door and I was like, okay, find me in zone two. So I was like, mm-hmm. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do a couple of runs of zone two, see if I can't find this guy. 
I got the stupid leprechaun this week. Aha, uh-huh, hey, it does exist. Uh, yep, it does <laughs> exist. I got him because I beat a gigantic enemy and then the boss. Uh, both of them dropped mm. like 50 coins each. And he just appeared. Right. And I was like, what? There he is. There's that leprechaun. <laughs> we come back. Um, so I went on zone two and I, I found the glass key. I got through the next floor. I found the cage. I unlocked it. I had a pretty good run at that point. So I, I was doing okay. So the thing on the... It's when you're... At the main lobby, it's the southeast one. So the southwest is the janitor okay. who will take items out of the circulation for you. Right. Uh, they're still unlocked, but they're just out of circulation for the runs. So I've been using mm-hmm. him to clean it up. And it's like, I don't want the armor that does 0.5 defense. I'll take that out of I've, circulation. I don't want glass armor. <laughs> yeah. I'll take all the glass yeah. stuff out. Like, I've been going through and I've been cleaning that up. And it's been helping because I've been getting stronger and stronger runs as I've been cleaning these things out. Mm. went through zone 2 found the key got the, the thing it was like great I'll meet you back at the lobby it's like okay cool beat zone 2 I think I got Coral Riff that time as well beat Coral nice. Riff got through to the end went down it's called the diamond exchange okay so what you do is every single time you go in there they will have three randomized items in front mm-hmm. of them kind of similar to the other shops and the permanent upgrades and stuff that you if you spend your diamonds on them, you start your next run with those items. Oh, wow. Okay. So let me tell you about how the time I picked up six diamonds and started mm-hmm. the run with the like the silver bow that does two damage. Ooh, hello. So straight away, I've got a super long ranged attack. It doesn't mm-hmm. need to be reloaded. Even better. And I also started with an apple as well because I had one diamond spare. So right. then you go into each zone already potentially with a better weapon, health item, mm. and a spell or an item unlocked that you you can have there as well. I gotta get that. It makes you so much more powerful from the get-go. Wow. Yeah, because the thing... So I, 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 I ran a couple of runs of uh, Zone 3... Boy, Zone 3 does not mess around nope. immediately. <laughs> it does not. And one of my bigger criticisms of the game, and I didn't realize, because I haven't really been looking ahead uh-huh. uh, in this game, you know, where it's like, oh, don't forget, here are all the super powerful unlockables, because I feel like, a little bit off topic, I feel like a little bit of um, the min-maxing with dead cells sort of uh, turned me off from that, where it's like, yeah. I can't believe you unlocked this item. That's... God, it's used now. Your pool is totally screwed up. So I, I haven't been looking forward. One of the things I wrote in my notes for this week that this will resolve it is my frustration about the game where um, it feels punishing starting each zone without the benefit of being able to start, you know, moving all, all zones mode aside. Mm-hmm. There's no real great way of doing like a run Mm -hmm. because all zones mode has its own downsides um there's no real great way to say like i'm gonna hit zone one and i'm just gonna keep going to have a really strong run yeah because as Um, soon as you're done with zone one it kicks you back to the lobby and you lose everything yeah and there's not even like i would almost be okay going from zone to zone and like maybe saying like okay i'll lose a, a random item, you know, including my weapon, or lose a health container. Yeah. You know, there, obviously there would have to be some sort of trade-off to carry from zone to zone, but that's one of my big problems with with Necrodancer is I feel like, and this is my, potentially my inexperience with uh, roguelikes in general rearing its head, I really wish I could just do a full run. Yeah. Like of a normal run. Yeah, like I, an easy all zones mode kind of thing. Because the all zones yeah. mode in this is like, here you go, have three health instead of your, what you can have. Right. So And like, good luck. Yeah. So if you could get yeah. like an easy version, it's like, oh no, this is just for fun kind of thing. Yeah, and there is the easy version in there, the dance pad mode, where you start with a broadsword and you start with a whole bunch of extra stuff, like a spell and a healing item and all that stuff. But that's not really... I don't mind starting zone one from the beginning, mm-hmm. 
I mind starting Zone Three from the beginning. That was that was the thing that was always the brick wall against me in Zone Three, because mm-hmm. Zone Three throws a whole bunch of enemies at you real fast, and they're like moving diagonally, and they're just like teleporting and running away from you. And it's like Zone Three, come on, man! Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's the stupid red ghosts who dodge behind yeah. you when you swing at them, so you've got to be on your yeah. toes about that. It's got the yeah, I doubt you've seen them yet, but it's got the stupid fire and ice snails who you cannot damage until you get right next to them, and then they take off their shell so you can actually damage them. Oh, man. You're right, though. The, like, half and half fire and ice, it it's really clever because the beat stays the same, mm-hmm. which is great, but the musical styles are different, and that's... It's that. so good. I, I wasn't expecting it to be that cool. Yeah, if that if that zone is not called a song of fire and ice, then it's so dumb. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. I wonder if that was just their development name for it. Possibly, yeah. But Zone Three yeah. is like I do love Zone Three, but it's super punishing, like super yeah. hardcore punishing when you first jump in there. And then, like, because I was doing a couple of runs of Zone Three, and I was doing the same thing I always do, which is I get to floor two, I do something stupid, it costs me a run. Yeah, I had an amazing run. I had multiplier based dig, multiplier based armor, multiplier based weapon. Wow. And I was on, I already have the thing that starts you with two times multiplier from the get go anyway. Like nice. all of those permanent upgrades, I've got them all. I have yeah. cleaned out that shop. I've cleaned out the the two other shops. Like I've bought everything I could buy. When, <laughs> I've got it all. When I have diamonds, there was, <laughs> there was no reason for me to go back to the lobby because I didn't have a reason to spend the diamonds. Right. And I was, I was doing zone three. I was really head I guess I was like I'm just going to do something different I just want to do something else in the game for a little bit so I went down I sold the door I thought well let's just try and unlock this character I can probably handle zone 2 enough to the point where <laughs> yeah I can get through getting the key and then getting to the next floor without taking damage the run yeah. I did it in it was very helpful I ended up getting a whip to start off with so I was like this Perfect. is great I can just yeah. play it safe get the things I need and then boogie on down kind of thing got the key got the unlock figured out what that person did it was like now it's on now it's 100 <laughs> percent. now on. i got this because even if you yeah. have a bad run the zone three is really is pretty good about it. it's his at least six maybe six seven diamonds mm. so, oh yeah yeah so every single time i was coming out of that it was like okay i'm gonna go check if the shops have new inventory no they don't because like, occasionally they'll just get a new spell like i just got the transmute spell but i don't know what that does um, oh yeah I'll jump in, check those shops. No, nothing. Let's go down to the diamond, diamond exchange. I'll have whatever weapon you've got. I don't care what yeah. it is. I will take it. Um, I started getting really good with the triple um, ammo crossbow, where it's like three shots and then you I have like to I like that one a lot. Yep. Yeah. Especially against those stupid imps, because mm-hmm. reloading takes up a beat, which means the imps will come back at you, giving you the line Smart. of sight for them. So it works out yeah. really well for them. I totally always forget as well, you can throw your dagger, so that's probably also a way to get rid of them. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. So, I am I was thinking, uh, I can do this now. I'm, I'm doing a bit better. So, I ended up going through, and I had a really solid run in Zone 3, and just sweep the floor with everybody, because <laughs> I managed to make it through the early part of the floors, like the floor 1 and early floor 2, taking minimal damage, because I started with a health item, I started with a better weapon, then it means I'm mm-hmm. not spending as much gold in the shops. I'm not doing that kind of stuff, you know. Oh, it was so much better to to, to start with that weapon. Yeah. Uh, sp- speaking of weapons, I actually um, I didn't really understand what the enchant weapon spell did mm-hmm. um, until I picked up on floor two. I picked up. I was running low on health. I bought a whip, which is just great health insurance, um, and I picked up the enchant. Uh, weapon spell i used it and turned into a blood whip yep that was the run i realized i I hadn't realized before whipping the um or hitting the mushrooms on floor on zone two Mm -hmm. counts as killing an enemy yep which is really great with blood weapons and i was like oh okay yep and the cool the lava pot that you see in zone three same thing Mm -hmm. perfect okay that's gonna help a ton yep uh, and my last note here is um, I tried out the other shopkeeper voice option. Oh, there's another shopkeeper voice. I don't like it. I'm not even going to so change it. It changes his sprite to a, like a different character, but it also... 
changes his voice to I think it's just like a real person singing. Yeah. And that's not what I'm there for. I like Freddie Merchantry because he sounds like he is samples. Like it sounds artificial and I Yes. I dig that. He, like maybe he's some sort of android that found his way into the into the crypt. He like, is the best. And zone four music is a little mm-hmm. bit insane. Okay. But the shopkeeper part is hilarious. Um have you you've seen Fifth Element, I'm assuming. I have, yes. You remember the, the Diva concert? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's how he sounds. Great. Just like all over the place. Yep. <laughs> it's so good. That's really good. Man, but yeah, I, I'm uh we're we're extending this to a fourth week, I think partially because we're both still having a lot of fun. Yeah. I haven't even done like deeper into all zone oh, mode. I, I haven't I done haven't played, daily runs. I haven't even played as a different character, and some of them sound really cool. Yeah, like the challenges. I haven't really done any of those. I'm not. That to me is all like uh, supplemental, like master class stuff. Where it's like I, I feel good playing as Cadence. I know there's a bunch of the other characters that all f- change how you play that game. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not really interested in doing that right now because i feel like i don't have that that foundation yet yeah but i'm curious if playing as the other characters will unlock additional items to be bought in like the permanent upgrade shop kind of thing like oh, if i yeah. play as um the eli or whatever yeah or the or i just unlocked a monk i don't know what he does great but i unlocked the monk so right. maybe he is is an un- unarmed and does a whole bunch of damage being an unarmed person i hope so that'd be cool but I hope- yeah maybe we'll have to look as soon as we uh Mm-hmm. As soon as we finish this, but yeah, yeah, Necro Dancer is still great. I I feel I feel much better now that I've finally busted through the the Zone Two wall. Yes, I same for me in Zone Three. Like it took so long, but figuring out that that person who's in Zone Two to unlock, it was like, ooh, yes. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to go try and do that. I that, would recommend. <laughs> yeah, that that to me sounds like it's gonna m- mitigate a lot of my my. Not frustrations, but a lot of my like. Oh, I just wish, I just wish they would have done this. That would have that would really like fit my fancy personally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's our episode this week. Thank you very much for listening. We'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye.